Welcome to another installment of Rootbox Reborn. The layout tool is what I use for the initial creation of my rigs, so things like joint layout, setting up the proxy geometry, um, really the initial steps, the phase one of setting up a character. So some of the features that you can expect to see in this tool are things like joint creation, geometry manipulation, cleanup features, and renaming features. So let's go ahead and get started. To get the tool open, we need to get to the script editor, which is going to be down at the bottom, this little white icon. And if we click on that, it pops open this extra window for us. So we want to make sure that we're on a Python tab, since the script is Python specific. And we want to make sure that we type in import, and that import is a bright neon raver green. If it's not, we've done something wrong. So first things first, import followed by the script name, rr underscore main underscore capital proxy, capital creation. On the line underneath that, go ahead and retype the script name, rr underscore main, underscore proxy, creation, followed by dot window, underscore creation, open and close parentheses. If you're worried about mistyping that, don't worry, you can copy and paste the how to run instructions from the help doc. So once we have those typed in, we can highlight them and click the blue play button, which will execute the code for us. If this is your first time opening this script, it might take a few minutes because Maya will have to load PyMail, so don't worry if it doesn't execute as fast as mine did. Just give it a few seconds, and if it doesn't open then, we might have problems. But once the tool is open, it will be collapsed like this. There are two frames. The top one has all of our options. So, there are pretty pictures. If they're confusing, don't worry. If you mouse over them, they have annotations attached to them, so they'll tell you what the tool is actually supposed to do. So this first one is the joint tool, since step one is usually drawing out joints. And if we click on it, it activates the tool, and I'm just gonna hold X and snap around to the grid. This tool is actually repeatable, so if you hit the G key, it will activate it again, and you can continue drawing joints to your heart's content. If you want to change your joint options, you're able to double click this icon and it will bring open the settings for you. Cool. So I'm actually going to click open a layer to bring in some, uh, some geometry. So one thing that I actually really like using is clusters to find the center point of my fingers. Usually the modeler has them posed or they're really hard to see in a top or side view. So what I like doing is selecting a nice center edge and then creating a cluster inside of that edge. So now I have a visual or a visual representation of where I'm supposed to aim a joint to. So that's nice and fun to have, it's, it's handy. If you happen to have joints that you like, so in this instance, let's say I like my leg joints, I've gone through and I've already named them. What I can do is use the mirror joint tool to mirror them over to the opposite side. So I like checking my settings first. So again, if we double click, it brings open the settings. I can make sure that I'm mirroring over properly, that I'm searching for the correct suffix um, or prefix rather and replacing it with the correct one. So once I like it, I can hit apply and it will mirror over for me. So that's really nice and useful to have. The padding button is actually something that I use specifically for my modular hierarchies. This isn't something that I would do for a game rig, but I can select any of the joints that I like that I already have named and I can say pad. And what this will do is for every root joint that I have selected, it will create a group above my root joint and move that group to the location of the root joint. So now what I can do is, let's say for the legs, I can take the hip joint and then constrain the pad. So whenever the hips move, the legs will move with them. So like I said, this is specifically for my modular setup, but it's a really nice feature to have, um, the padding and being able to parent everything together. So usually once I'm done with all of my joints, um, I then move to creating the proxy. So some tools that I like having for that, sometimes I want to cut my own edges, sometimes I don't like the ones that are there. 
So I have the cut face tool. I also have detach. So I can, let's say, select the edges that I like and say detach. And then once I switch back over to object mode, I can go to the next button and say separate. And then it will go through and separate out those pieces of geometry for me into individual sections. If for whatever reason I don't like the cuts that I've made or I want to combine pieces back together, I can use the button over from that and combine. And it will go through and put them back together. This does not merge the verts back, but as far as a proxy is concerned, um, I'm really not worried about that. This is just a temporary fix for the animator until I can get the bind in there. So I'm going to go ahead and hide that. And then I'm going to bring over proxy geometry that I already have made. So let's say that I like the proxy pieces that I have, they're just not named. Well, here's where the renaming options come in. So I can select whatever geometry or whatever objects that I want, and I can say, well, what's the prefix supposed to be? Is it left, right, or center? Or do I want to type something else in? I can totally do that. Um, I'm gonna say this is left, and this is the leg. I personally like starting counting at zero, so that's what it defaults to. If you want to start elsewhere, you can. And then suffix is this joints or geometry, which are the two most common things that I'm um, interacting with in phase one, or is this another um, type of object where I need a different suffix? So for right now, since it's geo, I'll click on geo, and I can go in and say rename. And it goes through and it renames everything that I currently have selected. So that's really nice and helpful. Once I like my geometry and it's named, I can use this last button in the layout options and that will actually mirror over my proxy geometry for me. So if I go ahead and click on it, you can see it creates this duplicate geo group and it goes through and renames all of it for me. So that's one less step that I have to worry about. I can go ahead and make proxy geometry for one side, mirrored over, and all of my renaming is done for me. So that's nice and useful to have. If for whatever reason I misspell something, because I am perfect and never misspell anything ever, I can go in, let's see, already can't spell, um, but I can go in and search and replace either by what I have selected or based on a hierarchy. And I'll go through and correct whatever error I have. So that's basically the layout tool in a nutshell. Um, if you have any comments, concerns, questions, totally feel free to reach out to me. I love the feedback. So if there's a functionality that the tool is missing that you would like to see, like I said, totally let me know and we'll see what we can do. All right, take care guys.